I would definitely want to start by saying thank you so much, Martin, for having the patience to give live feedback and interacting with the Young Global Governance Initiative community. Uh, like I mentioned, taking the luxury of asking the last personal question to you, uh, apart from the imagination machine, everyone on this call right now is uh, in their twenties. Twenties uh, are extremely messy. Uh, people are anxious. People are vulnerable. They are not sure if they will get a job, if they like the existing job, if they are making a dent in the universe. As someone who is a industry leader uh, within BCG and outside, what were your experiences during your twenties? What were some mis mistakes or non-traditional paths that you must have chosen that uh, turned out to be eventually pivotal for you? So. Uh, I think that answer will really derive, uh, will actually shape a lot of inspiration for the entire audience here. So over to you. So I've always believed in, um, in my ability to learn. I don't think I came out of university with, uh, with such compelling credentials that anyone had to give me a job um, or that I could walk straight into a winning position. But I, so I, I throughout my career, I've, I've, experimented with personal learning systems and so my idea is that um, I can outlearn others and differentiate myself through learning and you know fit me to the situations I want to be a part of so I think a lot about my personal learning system I, I think about you know what is it that I need to learn you know what what skills are rewarded by the world right now I think a lot about um, what which part of that would be interesting for me um, I think about um, which part of that people pay you to do. Um, and strangely, it, it sort of worked because I do wake up uh, many days thinking, wow, look at this really interesting problem I'm working on and they actually pay me. Because um, to be honest, I've ended up in a place where I would probably pay them because I, I, I love what I do. You know, it's a complicated story, but a very major part of it is just thinking about this intersection of um, what the world needs, what you can get paid for, and what would be personally interesting for me. And the, the role of the personal learning system is, is how do I get there? Um, I, I talk to clients, I connect. It, it, it all starts with connection. I used to think that I was in the business of ideas, but now I realize that I'm in the business of uh, the communication and discussion of ideas. It's a social as well as an intellectual. The, the social and the intellectual come together and connect. And when I connect, I have conversations where I learn things about what clients need. And if I know what clients need and I can articulate what clients need and I can articulate because I read very widely, I make sure that I have lots of blocks in my schedule called thinking time, which basically means do not schedule anything in the space, please, because I'm thinking, I'm reading. I'm reflecting. Um, if I can articulate that, then that gives me um, some differentiation opposite my colleagues that are maybe have, have chosen to be busier. There's a very uh, fun phrase I use in the book that people seems to re that seems to resonate with people, which is the idea that busy is the new stupid. That you know, it, it's not too smart to be so busy that you're not learning nowadays because the world is changing so fast. Um, those. Those client discussions lead to co-publication opportunities. They lead to consulting opportunities. Some of those consulting opportunities I'm not interested in, but my colleagues are. But I'm constantly scanning for engagements which indicate the shadow of the future, which indicate the things which will be interesting. So if it's an engagement to reduce costs by 14%, I'm, I'm personally slightly less interested. If it's an engagement to create a governance system that will help an electronics company to to, to flourish for a hundred years, I'm very interested because that's a very unusual type of project. It's a project I actually um, uh, did and that was, that I learned a lot and wrote a lot and became very close to the company as a result of that. Uh, I absorb things indiscriminately. Uh, I absorb reading indiscriminately. The only thing I don't really read about is business. Um, why? Because um, I'm trying to contribute to the business literature, not mimic the business literature. And, and I want to be very careful about how I frame things. I don't want to brainwash myself into existing frameworks. I want to be fresh. So I, I spend a lot of time reading um, the science. I'm a, uh, originally a biologist, so I, I read a lot of biology and computer science and military science. And anything that looks interesting. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm pretty interested currently in um, all sorts of things, from uh, Aristotle to science fiction musicology. Um, I, there are lessons, the lessons come from the most unlikely places. And I write. Um, 
There's this discipline that our founder talked about called thinking through writing. So I believe that, um, I'm not sure that, it, that people read a lot nowadays. I mean, some CEOs read a lot. Um, <clears throat> some read short pieces. Some don't have time to read. But I write anyway because writing is a way of forcing yourself to be extremely precise about what it is you're saying. Whether I distribute the written piece or not, it's a great basis for a conversation, a much better basis than a than a PowerPoint conversation. Um, so that's sort of, you know, one important aspect of, of, of how I got to be surprised to wake up every day that they actually pay me. Uh, thank you so much, Martin, for that answer. It, uh, in some way, of, not some way, it exactly aligns with the mission of GGI, which is that learning never stops, uh, the curiosity never stops. And I'm just so uh, excited. During my time at BCG, I was always very impressed and I was inspired by the idea of BCG Henderson Institute. And uh, you were able to take out time for the mission, which is uh, education curriculums are archaic and uh, industry leaders like you, especially you were able to take out time to impart the thought leadership on imagination uh, and curiosity. Mm -hmm.